I want to give you a quick tour of some of the features and functionality of Roar. Every instance of Roar is purpose-built for the MSP, so it is multi-tenant. You can easily search for your customers that you support uh, through the tables. All the tables are searchable, sortable, and exportable. You can easily navigate to the systems that you're inspecting with Roar as well. And in each system inspection, there is a timeline feature where you can rewind back in time, see the configuration details of the system changing over time, you can also easily navigate with our calendar functionality to a specific point in time. All this data is stored for up to a year. You can also navigate easily in the same screen to the other systems that you support for uh, the customer as well. So uh, also I wanted to make sure that you have an understanding of the other administration functionalities within Roar. So in our integrations tab, you can easily connect Roar to your existing PSA like ConnectWise or Autotask or a documentation platform like IT Glue, and we give you those steps as part of our onboarding, but we also have an onboarding checklist to get you started easily. So you follow this guideline, but we also have uh, a team that positions you for success. Our onboarding team will also walk you through these steps uh, as needed as well. Now, in every instance of Roar, there are agents that run in the cloud, uh, and these do the majority of our inspections, but for any systems that sit behind a firewall, we want to deploy one of our on-premise agents so you can easily deploy that uh, the msi installer is right here you can push that out with your rmm or you can simply paste this into the browser of the server you want to install the agent on and it'll give you the parameters um, that you need to uh, input in there to talk to your instance of roar on-premise inspections our examples would be active directory windows sql server and some of your traditional firewalls so uh, we also have role-based access control so that you can control who can see what in there, including read-only access for your staff or some of the customers that you support. There's no additional cost for that. Uh, Roar is priced on a per customer basis, not on a per user basis. Now within the data that we're collecting, there is something unique uh, called a data print. Now this data print is what drives a lot of what we are doing. So in every inspection, every system that we inspect, we're structuring the data that we're grabbing and we're storing it in a JSON format. That allows us to create those views to make the data that we're collecting human readable, easy readable, but also create this timeline, inject it into another configuration management database. But then we can start to do some really creative things in there, like identify things that need your attention. We're continuously assessing these systems for things that need your attention. And we have this concept called actionable alerts, but we'll drop a service ticket on their service board where your team is already working. And we're constantly capturing changes over time with that timeline, but there are specific changes where you'll wanna be notified. So we have this concept of change notifications in there as well. And then diving into the details when you're conducting quarterly business reviews or health checks for your customers, we have this concept of metrics, which I'll cover in another video. So check that out. If you're interested in learning more, visit lionguard.com. Remember, you can click on buy now or reach out to the sales team directly at sales at lionguard.com. Thanks for watching.